There are many options that help to track actual sales. Pre-sales commitments can be captured through expressions of interest, pledges, memos of understanding and letters, or emails of intent. These commitments are used extensively in B2B, while actual sales can be measured using crowdfunding and Wizard of Oz tests. Crowdfunding is a form of pre-sales where different sizes of donations are sought in return for a range of rewards that include product and associated promotional items. In 2012, the Oculus Rift VR headset raised $2.5 million in just 30 days from almost 10,000 Kickstarter backers who pledged $300 plus each for a developer kit and a Doom video game. Astonishingly, just two years later, Oculus was bought by Facebook for $2 billion. A more advanced Wizard of Oz test has a user interacting with a site, getting search results, making queries and even buying without knowing that the responses are being generated by a human and not a computer. A classic example of the Wizard of Oz test is Zappos, the online shoe retailer that Amazon acquired for $1.2 billion in 2009. Founder Nick Swinburn decided to test the assumption that people would be willing to buy shoes online without trying them on. At that time, this was not at all certain. So instead of following the more traditional path of building an inventory and then trying to sell it, Nick went to local stores, photographed shoes, and then advertised them online. If a pair of shoes was sold, he returned to the store, bought it, and sent it to the customer. The customer had no idea that Nick did not have a single pair of shoes or that all orders were being processed manually. What an incredible way to reduce risk and uncertainty and learn with minimal investment. Hats off to Nick. Finally, mock sales are a way to test credible interest before your product even exists. The goal is to make your customers believe that they are making a purchase. In an online context, you can use call to action buttons like buy now on your own site or place your proposed product in an online store and just see what happens. In the physical world, you can use catalogs to introduce your idea or even test your concept out by setting up a pop-up shop, a very popular experimentation technique in the food and beverage sector. So there are lots of options to test user sales and actions. Just select the one that suits what you want to test. Don't overthink it and learn on the fly. I will leave you with a quote from innovation guru, Eric Ries. He said, I would say, as an entrepreneur, everything you do, every action you take in product development, in marketing, every conversation you have, everything you do is an experiment. If you can conceptualize your work not as a building features, not as launching campaigns, but as running experiments, you can get radically more done with a lot less effort.